welcome to Mystic Star Magic. I am so happy that you are here. Yes. And we're finding out what like pregnancy messages we have for you for 2023. Basically, what's happening, happening in terms of pregnancy for the next upcoming year. Because I always believe in timeless reading. So, um, <clears throat> so whenever you get this, you click on it. It's meant for you to hear it. That's when exactly the perfect time. Um, and so, very excited. <laughs> We're having a lot of fun this year. Um, I could already start. Um, so if you haven't subscribed, I do um, suggest that you do. Um, right now, I am posting, like, you get to choose the content. Basically, I put polls on my um, community tab, and you choose what content you want. I was thinking of actually having, like, a pregnancy um, reading a week, but I'm not sure how to do that. Because um, I don't know, like, is that too much? So maybe like once a month. I don't know. We'll see. But I do do pregnancy readings. Um, I actually have a lot of fun with them. So you know, if you know, go check out the ones I've done, and hopefully I will remember to put a pregnancy um, playlist for you. What else? Oh yeah, and of course I'm also giving the subscriber giveaway monthly. If so one subscriber gets to win a personal reading so lots of reasons to subscribe so consider it if not it's okay too but just you know put that in there but let's go ahead and see what this is group one i'm gonna actually lift you up sorry these cards are a little bit big so <laughs> my usual stable of just um having a one not not holding everything up but there we go this group two sorry there's a lot of commotions my cats are excited group three this is of course group four so lots of cool things let's go ahead i want you to take a deep breath in close your eyes relax your body relax your mind and now as you exhale and open your eyes choose whichever pile draws you to it all right let's do this hello group one oh so happy that you are here Let's find out what like pregnancy messages, if you're going to get pregnant or if you're already pregnant, what's going <clears> to <throat> be happening with you this 2023. So exciting, exciting. here. So I chose this card right here. And oh, I, I do like this a lot because it feels like there's a presence. I almost feel like this, it reminds me a lot of the <clears throat> Ace of Cups, which to me is oh, a good omen of pregnancy. <laughs> for others of you i almost feel like oh you're taking on a lot right now with this one one sickle unicycle unicycle i think that's what it is um <clears throat> so we have that as well and um so you're trying to find balance <laughs> with the picture yourself i almost feel like it's like oh um also over here i noticed this to me it's sort of like your ancestors or your um past loved ones just kind of like also feel like kind of watching your back even though they're here they're sort of like always in the background for you you know they might even bring how do i say it like um just watching over to your your if you know for those of you who are pregnant because this is all just could be pregnancy but i feel like it's going to be kind of a balance game but it, I like you said it's a sort of a funny balance game because it's sort of you don't have two wheels you only have one and you're kind of going at it but I, I feel like you're doing just fine so those of you who are pregnant I feel like definitely when you need extra like a little extra support <laughs> and yes definitely physically but I feel like uh like more of a spiritual emotional one call on your past loved ones um because I almost like this cane here just kind of makes me feel like they're there to support you and help you <clears throat> if you need it here um so for for this is a very for me a very positive moment i'm gonna actually see if i can put you up there oh i was worried that that would happen so let me put you right here um and then we'll lift it up a little bit there you go that's our my guiding cards coming here so now let's go ahead and do the tarot. We 
have the five of pentacles. Do I want to actually? I like to do it both ways. <laughs> I'll probably put it up here. But <clears throat> as we do it here, we're going to have the. Okay, and, oh, bless. <laughs> Thank you. It's been, well, everybody knows it's been cold. <laughs> so my, I have kitty cats that do not like the cold. <laughs> I don't, I'm like, I always too, it's not that I don't like the cold, it's just that it's a little rough. <clears throat> okay, so, and then, by the way, this is the Christmas Chair Tarot, this is mine, and this is the story, build the story, like create a story, or something. yeah, create the Ibu, I think it's called Ibu, create a story, um, cards, so it's really cute, I actually like this a lot. Okay, <clears throat> as you can see, we actually have a reversal card here. And it actually came that way. Like when it fell, it fell back. Like it fell down. Wait, so I was like, okay. Now, what I'm seeing here is that we have, well, actually, like four passion and creativity. Very important. I also love that the center is the Ace of Candles. Um, <clears throat> the outskirts here, though, is the Five of Kings, which is Five Kind of Kings, which is the Five of Swords. So, <clears throat> Five of Swords. Um, I'm actually going to look at it in this way. For me, the Five of Swords is sort of like you're trying to go at it alone too much. <laughs> Does that make sense? It's sort of like your ego is, is, <clears throat> is, is saying that you can't like receive help. And I feel like, or like that you don't, even, even here, isn't it interesting? It's like, you don't want to inconvenience anybody. And it's sort of like, and you wouldn't think that's, um, a little bit of the ego but it is it's sort of like because you, you you're not taking care of yourself in in that sense it's sort of like <clears throat> the five of of swords just kind of is reminding me of like you're trying to like i'm gonna like go at it by myself like again like like that uni wheel it's really like kind of letting me you're 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 going 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 and, and you can and that's the thing is like yes that's but it's it's sort of not what you need to do. It's sort of like here with the seven of candles, seven of wands in reverse. It's sort of like um, I almost feel like it's instead of going at it by yourself, you're being called to uh, in, include others. This four of candles, four of wands. It's sort of like it, it's it's sort of like if you if you don't let others in to help you in some sort of way. It's like you're taking away their opportunity to to celebrate like every like when you overcome something and you and you've done it or where people help you a little bit you everybody just celebrates that right well while you're trying to go at it alone and it's sort of like no 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 that's that's not it it's it's i almost feel like this pregnancy right possibility here <clears throat> it just for me that ace of candles like i'm gonna, is, is there is a sort of like, this is a celebration for everybody. It's sort of like not just for you to take it on. I'm not saying that it's not something very special for you, but it's, it's sort of like you're kind of pushing others away. And birds saying, no, 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 it's not that. That's not what you want to do now. Want to do it sort of like, and oh, I just, I, I'm seeing this picture of like family or friends gathering around you and just like, like loving and snuggling with you. And not only you, but like, potential child here right like is that's how like that's that's the thing right and if you fall you kept back up but they can help you too i almost i, I almost feel that that's the energy there's just so much love that wants to surround you but you're kind of pushing it away you're like and i feel like it's a little bit of the ego a little bit of defensiveness um <clears throat> Maybe you're one of those people who's like, I can do it by yourself. And you're like, yeah. And that's the first thing. Like, yes, you can. <laughs> you totally can. But it's not as much fun. <laughs> does that make sense? I hope it does. Because I just feel that that's the energy I'm hearing for you. I do with the two of candles, which is perfect right there. The two of candles and the two of wands is, is kind of confirming this. It's like you have the choice of, of I almost feel like you can go at it alone and, and, and rough it out. And it, and it feels like that could be rough definitely like rough or you can like go a different route it almost feels like allow like the universe and the world to kind of help you here um with this ace of candles <laughs> i also feel like oh okay there's all gonna be like um okay pretend because i'm i'm doing this because it it, it could be definitely a sign of 
of fertility and uh -huh, and pregnancy possibilities for 2023. So, but for those of you, and also if when if and when you get pregnant in 2023, um, the Ace of Candles is what I what I'm seeing here is that there's also going to be a like a lot of creative energy coming through you. Especially, I, I feel like the, the what I'm seeing is like your you, the spirit, the energy of your of your child. Um, even let's say, even if if you don't conceive in 2023, I feel like the energy of your spirit child or like the child is just so creative. It's sort of like it awakens a flame in you again. Um, so I I just I feel like this. This is like very very like good energy, very positive. Like I said, there's a lot of wands energy and there's creativity for me. Like. Whew, 100% so much creativity. I really, really, really love it. All right, let's go ahead and let's see what other messages are coming through. Here we have Amber, and this is the Colorology by V Love and Tarot, V Love and Crystals. Yes, too. Flexibility. Yes, yes, yes. And we also have um, over here. I wonder if I should just kind of. <laughs> this is how I'm like. I'm not. I've never like. I don't usually use these things, but I wanted to try. <laughs> I will try. And it's sort of like my own little DIY thing. <laughs> How could I not have a little DIY stuff? Okay. Okay. Ding. Oh, this one is falling down. Oh. <laughs> don't fall down. Don't fall down. Actually, well, I guess we can say that we want to, want to fall down because it's sort of like the ego thing here. Um, and here we have this ace of candles there. All right. So now we have the amber the flexibility and then continue building yeah so what i am seeing here for you is that ember again is vitality boldness and happiness um and that's that energy that i keep seeing that ace of candles but even the four of candles is sort of like this is this is the energy and this is an important energy for you to um connect to especially if you want to get pregnant i almost feel like maybe even wearing this amber wearing this yellow it just kind of draws you out it's sort of like the happiness the happier you are the the more um, fertile you become that's what makes sense it's um, again i'm not a health professional but that, that that's sort of like the message i keep hearing it's sort of like yes um but again there's a sense of flexibility here and the sense of flexibility comes from <clears throat> Well, we can actually look at, at this little one. You can see things in two different ways. Um, so I feel like a little bit of your ego is a little getting in crowded, in crowding. It's because you're, you're very much, I feel like, an independent person. And spirit's like, yeah, that's great. That's not, it's not what it is. But there needs to be like, like I said, there has to be like a balance. You're just taking everything on by yourself, and it's sort of like you're, you're taking away the opportunity to do something very joyous um, together with with like loved ones. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. And also being able to see things in, in different ways. So, so <sighs> we tend to think that our, our, how we see things is the truth, right? And like, this is true. But it's actually our perception of reality, right? People can see the same exact like thing, right? Like it actually happened, like it, um, something that happens, and everybody sees it and perceives it differently. And so, what I want, what I'm trying to say here, is that this flexibility comes from allowing the allowing others to have a different perception or, or a different view from you and still like and, and being willing and able to look into it yourself like like not just because I, I like i said i feel like you're like you shut down a lot of people very independent spirit not a bad thing at all um it almost reminds me a little bit of the queen of swords energy here but there's a softness that needs to come here uh also <laughs> there's also the flexibility also comes in here um, <clears throat> If you are, like, if you're thinking about, let's say you're going to, how do I, because it's not a message for everybody, but I feel like it's important. Being, being willing to listen to, let's say, a, a professional, right? 
and and also <laughs> and the, but the reverse of that is also like willing being willing to listen to um, alternatives. <laughs> so so like yes, you 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 know yourself better, but a high thing here is listening. Be willing to listen because I feel like messages you have a pre like maybe you have an idea, a preconceived notion of something, and I feel like Spirit's saying like there's a, a different approach to it or there's a different solution than you think. So being flexible to listen to things. And again, could be alternative, like a, a alternative medicine, alternative approaches to things, um, or also like maybe listening to, you may not want to hear something from a, a, a a professional, but they, there might be something being flexible with that information again. But intuition is very strong, <laughs> always follow and trust your intuition. That's how I always think about this. And here is sort of like continuing building, right? Doesn't it, it's sort of like you have to build the foundation and the foundation of, of and, and this is it comes in in different things. So let's if you are pregnant, if or if you find out you're pregnant, the foundation is is taking care of yourself, like getting mm, prenatals, like do prenatal vitamins, <laughs> sorry, um, and 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 doing like all a whole, you know, taking care of your body, taking care of your mind, right? This is like you want to build the solid blocks there for yourself. Um, if you haven't gotten pregnant <laughs> and you continue, but still taking care of yourself, like still doing that, continue on. Um, if you're, if you're contacting, like if you, if you, if you think that you need some help with fertility or contact to continue going with it, you know, just like, don't let what you like, don't let any kind of like ego get in the way of that. You know, like if you need help, go ask for help. Does that make sense? I hope it does. <laughs> Cause it's like, you have this like I really like this energy and I love that you have the four of candles. It's sort of mean to me. It's like yes, you are celebrating. You go from ace to to the um <clears throat> to the four, and the four is the celebration. It's like the family. It's like wow, yeah. So to me, it is. But there's a choice here. I feel like it's almost like you see this is this is the very light, and here you have this choice of ego and trying to go out of and like struggling through it and I feel like spirits like no this is supposed to be a joyous ad adventure for you and see what other um, guidance we have for the collective of group one in terms of pregnancy make <laughs> oh I love this okay there is the uh, astro cats and make today an adventure yeah and it's that's sort of what I'm seeing here it's sort of like you're taking it like you're trying to force it into something and it's like no but this is supposed to be an adventure i also like that you have three cats because like right there it's like possibility for triplets or maybe a possibility of, hey this is not the first um <clears throat> kid this might be the first kid but there's going to be more that's what i, I didn't see it's like oh see what other um guidance or messages you have for the collective of group okay oh, look at this be the reason somebody smiles today Holly and Pop. Look at that. Love, 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 sharing that love. <clears throat> and, 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 and it's because you allow others. It's sort of like the somebody smiles is like even just allowing others to like love you and support you. Like I know that especially people who love to be independent are like, no, like, you know, we don't let people help us because we're like, we have to take it all on ourselves. But it's like people like the support, you know, like to to be there and, and be there enjoying things. Um, the secret in getting ahead is getting started. Yes, and that's the continue. We have to start taking care of ourselves and then continue taking care of ourselves, right? Um, so getting started. So if, if you want to get pregnant, if you're not quite there for pregnancy, maybe you like finding out as much information as you can about uh, how to get pregnant, uh, maybe contacting, you know, your gynecologist, you know, contacting all those that you need to do. Because, um, I, I mean, I, I love doing readings of a pregnancy, but there's also like the, the actual physical and practical aspect of, of getting pregnant. <laughs> the truth of it, too. <laughs> Let's see what um, your soul needs to hear right now what guidance here i soar into limitless love light and joy look at this that's breakthrough you're having a breakthrough i love this 
So you may not know this, but this is this pregnancy um is going to be be a big breakthrough for you. It almost feels like there's a softening of your edges, <laughs> and not in a bad way at all. Very sweet softening, um, and lots of like I feel like creative creative passion coming through for you. Um, especially like that energy that I feel from 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 like your spirit child <laughs> i don't know it's sort of like oof, there's there's this thing uh, of almost like oof, creativity it, it's it feels like you're it's opening up your heart chakra a lot so that's that's what i'm gonna say here i'm gonna leave it here um please do give it a thumbs up and please do consider uh subscribing like i said where i'm gonna try like my whole purpose of this as part of my like 2023 in particular, like, and hopefully moving forward, is the content I create is going to be wholly decided by you, and with the exception of some um, collaborations that I that it will just be set up and, and that will be. But but mo like, what I really want is for the content to be something that you like. So if you do like pregnancy readings, um, let me know. Or if you have any particular questions that you would like me to do a reading on, especially because then I could just put it out there and see and pull it and everything. So thank you, thank you so much. I feel honored that I was able to read your cards. Um, and like I said, I very much a positive um, feeling for you. Oh, like I just, oof, there's so much potential here. Like I, I, I can see it, I can I can feel it, especially for, for a lot of like um, fire signs for me in terms of like either Aries time, um, Leo time or Sagittarius time. Those, those I think are, are the, the time frames I would give to you. <laughs> if you're trying to either like you might be beginning birth or you might be getting pregnant that time because the fire energy is strong here. So go into it. <clears throat> Thank you again. And until I see you in the next one, bye bye, my dear friends. Hello, my friends from Group 2. I'm very excited that you are here. Um, and so we're going to find out pregnancy messages. Will you be getting pregnant this, um, to 2023? Or, or what messages that need to be come through if you are pregnant here? Um, so, <laughs> just a beautiful card here. Okay. So some sort of messages coming through. Very important. I almost feel like taking care of your health is also really important with that relief. Um, yeah, I'm also seeing like for me the leaf is also like um, knowing that like each experience is unique. I is and I don't know because I feel like for some of you maybe you have had a pregnancy before, um, and so maybe you're like the second one is going to be everything is going to be unique for those are for you know, very specific people. Um, messages coming through is important. Hmm, what else do I want to see here? I almost feel like for some of you also like kind of wishing, <laughs> I know I'm not very um, practical in that sense, but like wishing or like speaking out your desires is important because it's sort of, it also reminds me of a feather. Um, maybe even writing a letter of, of the things that you want, even for, oh, for some of you, oh, I, uh, I love that idea. Thank you. <laughs> um, writing a, a, like a letter to your future child, like all, like maybe even a, like explaining the like all the experiences that you had and for those of you that I always like I don't like to touch the subject too much but it, it has has happened um for those of you who have had a miscarriage or, or lost uh, uh like uh you know your wonderful child which I'm very sorry for you I really am but I feel like if we carry on that sort of we we I, I feel like that needs to be healed as well. So writing, possibly writing a, a letter to to that um, child, right? It's like, and, and almost like, because I feel like there's a sense, wow, this is a, an intense pile, I, I guess. But it, it's sort of like a sense of needing to, to still communicate. Because, uh, mm, how do I want to phrase this? I'm always uh, like, I'm... Well, I've not to say I've studied mediumship, not not fully, anyways. But I, I've I've dabbled. <laughs> I like to dabble in things. But 
what I what I did know, what I did learn in my dabbling is that past loved ones, right, even if they weren't actually born, um, their energy, or I would like to call the echo, is still there. Like, it's sort of like a, a, a part of them, like a little, I like I said, I would say energy remains. And, and so I feel like even then, if you don't think that that is like, that that never came to be like your child was never into me, but they, they existed and they're there. Um, I hope that makes sense. So even just connecting to that energy and, and, and like writing out, explaining things. I don't know. I just, I feel like that's something you need to do for your own healing. I hope that makes sense. <clears throat> Especially because I do really think that, um, it's sort of like that. <clears throat> this to me is sort of like the past and this is the new beginning that the leaf is coming through as well. <laughs> So, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I'm always like, I don't know, am I saying what I, well, I just have to trust that, trust whatever it is that comes out, comes out, right? All right, we have, all right, very nice, okay. All right, so you have the temperance card as your, um, as the middle, as the, as the center of the spread. And so what I'm going to say to you is that there is a sense of like divine timing here. There's also a sense of not trying to force things. And I, I feel like that, that comes to here with this nine of, of candles, nine of um, wands energy. How do I say it? So it's a sense of, of, you feel like almost like you're against the world or you have to keep going like you you're, you're just like yeah it's sort of like you you against the world <laughs> this energy i'm getting from that nine of candles and i feel like the spirit's saying like and even your um past um uh, not past love but even if if you've like had a miscarriage mm. Sorry, I had to drink it because I was otherwise I was gonna start coughing like a maniac. <clears throat> so what I'm what I'm seeing here, and I'm, I'm past the you know like a miscarriage. What I'm seeing here, and I'm not saying that everybody has this, but it just feels like there's a sense of like you feel like you have to go at, and sort of a little similar to message one, but in a different. It's sort of like you are standing against the world, um, and in the universe is saying no, no, no. It's it's sort of. It feels that way, but it really isn't. <laughs> you actually have the ability to have support here, given the three of ornaments, three of pentacles, which for me is sort of, you can collaborate, like, <laughs> like collaborate, have a collaboration. <laughs> In terms of like, there's different structures that can help you. And, and it's funny because it's like a, a me for me it's sort of like collaboration not just uh in, in terms of like yeah friendship no but it actually means to me like a different approaches that's actually what i'm seeing here different approaches like maybe um <clears throat> whether you're pregnant or not here is this like acupuncture might be something that you might want to look into like if something is like if you're feeling unaligned in your body, there's like acup acupuncture, acupressure might help. Be, you know, just being careful, of course, mindfulness. <laughs> um, oh, or like if you've given birth to like, so it sort of feels like there's a, a sense of wanting to look at everything in terms of just, <laughs> it's funny because I keep coming to this, even though I'm not a, a, an actual health practitioner or anything like that, but it feels like to me, it's like there's different, um, uh, I want to say, um, not foundation, but it's actually like your basis. There's three different bases like that you need to help. Like I feel like, uh, like I said, like acupuncture, maybe even like Reiki. Like it seems to me like that there's something for you to need to like, I, I feel like relaxing your body. I feel like your, your body might be tense. Um, and so, and, and, and it comes also from your spirit as well. <laughs> it's like, we're all, all interconnected. So that's what I'm saying is like spirit, but, okay, so maybe spirit. <laughs> we have body. We also have emotions, like emotion, thoughts, all, all that kind of together. And I think there's like a needing for maybe like healing or, but for not necessarily healing, for taking care of each aspect. Um, whether you're pregnant, if you're pregnant, 
then yes, like it needs you need to have that. It's it's a mul it's like a three layer yeah that's what a three layer um, holistic approach to to having this pregnancy be a lot more calm and relaxed versus here right. And for those of you who are trying to get pregnant, <laughs> again, this is is very important because it's it's giving you this this like different layers of how because our body is if it's if one part of us is out of whack, it's actually there's a whole bunch of stuff that's out of whack. And I feel like that's that's what what I'm seeing here for you. And the ace of ornaments uh, for me, if you're actually looking for confirmation, that again, for for me, aces are confirmation of of potential pregnancy, potentially potential fertility. Um, and also with this, with the ace, I am like a lot of the the major one here. We have it's two two ornaments, and it's sort of like for me, that's a lot of with the body dealing with the body as well. Um, and the temperance, <laughs> it almost feels like you're stressing out too much, you're pushed, and with the four of candy canes, which is the four of swords, it's sort of like you need to rest, you need to stop having this, like, defending yourself constantly, it's sort of like you need to rest and take care of yourself, and I almost feel like enjoying yourself, because this is a, a very, I would say, auspicious time, um, and do you want to say, what would I like to, um, in terms of this, I, well, I would say with the ornaments, I'm going to say earth signs for you, <laughs> what I'm saying, in terms of timing, um, Capricorn season, Taurus season, um, sorry, I always have to like, the Virgo season, right, Virgo, yeah, that would be Virgo, <laughs> like, yes, 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 okay, yeah, those, those are the ones that I would say. Those are good. Earth, the earth grounding um, energy is good for you. And if you're trying to, so you could be giving birth then, or you can be um, being fertile, like the most there. We have clutter. Okay. And this is um, this is my, of course, my little Christmas cheer tower, which I am very excited. I, you're gonna see me use it a lot just because I'm so excited about using. This is I candy five. No, oh, this is I said yeah, this is I can yes by <laughs> the love and tarot, the love and crystal, and then we have the this is colorology by the love and crystals, and we also have um, my musical oracle. So look at that, oh, very cool. So clutter, <laughs> what is this clutter that we're talking about? I almost feel like you see, there's a lot of like emotions. I feel like feel like we need to like declutter. And I'm there with you because I'm in the process of decluttering for the new year. So decluttering, decluttering your um, things that are no longer serving you. And what I think is like that you you have to go against the world. I feel like that that thought is really holding you back. I wanted to replace it with the, the three of ornaments, with three of pentacles, which is like I'm being supported all the time. Like there's always like support there for me. Like you're not against the world. <laughs> it may feel like that sometimes. And I get it, but I feel like this is a message that you need to hear. And so we need to declutter your uh, mind. And maybe even if you're needing to declutter your body, like it's just the process of like you're holding on to too much stuff. And maybe this is actually like this idea. So like I said, to me, this envelope and this thing messages to me is in, that has to be in the past. Or it could be that you have like you have to drop the leaf and you have to pick it up. But for me, it feels like you're letting go of the past. You have to, you can't hold two. Well, you could hold two things in your hands. <laughs> but the the thing here is sort of like you really. It almost feels like what are you focusing on rather? And and so we can we can hold on to two things in our hands. But what can we really focus on? Um, and here, I almost feel like this is a wish fulfillment. This is a a, a blessing coming through. You can't hold on to this like. This thing where you're fighting, where you're sort of like, uh, you're hoping and wishing for a new, for, for this pregnancy or for, for like a, a very successful pregnancy if you're, have, if you're already pregnant, all right? So I feel like that's sort of what I'm getting here for you. Now let's see. <laughs> Surprises await, right? I just realized I was like, I set it up all differently for, for group one. That's okay. So surprises await. Surprises await. 
I mean, that, maybe there is a message there that tells you something. <laughs> it could be funny. It's like you, you find, like, you're like, oh, something you've been wanting to hear comes through here. But I feel like the surprise is also, like, how, like, amazing it is, how much support you actually have. Um, a lot more support than you think. Oh, I also feel like there might be, um, for you, for some of you, maybe there's, like, a surprise. Maybe you'll be having twins. <laughs> you're like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, <laughs> right. That's like oh, cool. what two for the price of one? Like I said, okay. And then Scarlet, passion, danger, excitement. Um, I look at this and the two parts also there is interesting for me. Like passion. Like okay, the danger here is like you feel like you not trusting. Uh, like you feel like you have to defend all the time and you have to like. But I, I almost feel like that's you think that there's danger, but it really I feel like. It wants you to know that, no, it's excitement and passion. I really do feel like the collaboration. I feel like, like you're not by yourself. Um, and then with the pad there, I also want to say, like, maybe mm, <laughs> two ways here of looking at this parroting. Um, speaking, like, I, again, it's sort of like I really keep thinking, like, keep hearing it. Sort of you have to speak in, speak out what you want. And so, like, even or write it down. Um, so you have to speak out, like make the, the wish if this is what you want. And it could be if you're already pregnant, like, a, like, a a smooth and, and, and easy delivery, right? It's like healthy that everything turns out perfectly. Or if you want to get pregnant, like a nice, like healthy pregnancy that ends with a very healthy baby and everything going smoothly, whatever it is. I'm not very good at, at making wishes right off the top of my head. It takes me a while. But that's what, I, what I'm saying here. Like, it's, it's speaking it with the passion, with excitement, rather than the fear. The danger here is what it seems. Like, I feel like you are fighting, it makes a lot of sense, when we fight the world, it's because we're, in, it's in fact, are a bit afraid of something. We're afraid of letting things in. Um, let's see what what other guidance we have for the collective of group two in terms of pregnancy. <sighs> Look at that. Look, look at Beetle. You are the creative force that shades your real shapes your reality. Yes, again, and this creative force is actually speaking it out loud. I know it doesn't make sense, but it really like I keep hearing it, and that's what I'm like. Okay, <sighs> so we're gonna go with that one. Give me one more. Okay, even the hardest puzzles hold a solution. And maybe that, that's the, that's the solution. Maybe Spirit's giving you the answer. Oh my goodness, I love that. <laughs> I actually just got that. Oh, I like that one a lot. So you're asking for something. You're asking for something and Spirit gives you the message. Oh, I like that one a lot too. And then hug someone today. Yeah, I was like, it, just be open. <laughs> I know it's a lot to ask. I'm not saying it's easy. <laughs> I, I never claim any of these like messages or anything that I say, it's like, oh, it's easy. No, I never, <laughs> it was easy. <laughs> it would just be something everybody does naturally. All right, let's see what, what guidance does your soul need to hear right now? What guidance does your soul want you to hear right now? Yeah. Okay. Strength. I have deep inner strength and glorious vitality. Again, vitality seems to play a strong role here. And how do we gain vitality? By resting. So maybe you've been going at it too long. You need to rest your body. Like I said, it's sort of like a threefold. Like there's different things. You have to take care of your body. You have to take care of your spirit. You have to take care of your emotions too. And it says commitment. My commitment increased my joy and freedom. Commitment to yourself, commitment to this, commitment to everything. I just, I feel like, uh, I don't, I don't even know how to say it. Just like there's so much beautiful things coming through here and abundance. Look, oh, if there's another confirmation of like that you're fertile this year is perfect year. Abundance. All my needs are met above and beyond my greatest expectations. And that is this, that I have the support. You have the support. <laughs> you don't have to go at it alone. I really do mean that. <laughs> Um, so I hope you liked this reading. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. Um, a big thing that I'm doing now is that I'm taking polls, <laughs> I was doing polls, uh, for so that you choose the content. I want to create content that you love and that will like make you excited to see it. So 
be on the lookout for that if you're a subscriber. And also, I'm doing monthly uh, subscriber reading, personal reading giveaway. So that be on the lookout for both of those things. Thank you so much. I feel so honored that I was able to read your cards. I'm sending you a big hug. And may you be pregnant. And may your <laughs> uh, pregnancy be nice and smooth and beautiful. And may you have a beautiful child at the end. Thank you so much. Until I see you in the next one. Bye-bye, my dear friends. Hello, my dear friends from group three. I'm very excited to be doing this reading. Oh my goodness. All right. So you actually were the only group that got two cards, two of these cards. So <laughs> when I saw this one, though, I, I was like, because I, I flipped it over. I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> so one of the things I am seeing here is that <laughs> get busy. If you want to get mm, pregnant, then you have to actually, you know, <laughs> Have sexy time. <laughs> so go for that. Having fun with that. I think that's an important thing. And sort of making it um, with the ladder off. It's sort of like making something. Uh, and even if you are pregnant, it's sort of making time for this. Making time for the intimacy of, of like being, you know, like I almost feel like cooned with, with um, your significant other. Um, yeah, sort of like focusing on intimacy. It's very important that this is coming through. And also like getting ready. <laughs> now, this is interesting because it's prepping for, for, for what's to come, right? So if you are wanting to get pregnant, prepping for pregnancy. And then that's like having yourself um, prenatals, right? Prenatal vitamins. Um, kind of like getting yourself ready and mentally prepared for it as, as much as you can. It's like... One thing I, I've seen is sort of like it, you can expect things, but like it won't ever go the way it has planned. Um, being ready for shifting and changing um, approaches and, and for whatever happens, but it's it's looking at this always remain like meaning though intimate with with your significant other or even with your your desire or your wish for for this and sort of like taking good care of it. Um, also, maybe for some of you, getting good night's sleep. Sleeping is good. Also, for others of you, sorry, this is like I, I thought this was going to be one of those um, groups that there's a lot of messages. Um, listening to your dreams, especially like I feel like there's going to be a lot of like, especially if you're looking for a solution for a problem of some kind. It doesn't have to be big. It just it's sort of like I feel like inspiration's coming through there. So again, like I said, prepping for everything, fixing what needs to be fixed. Um, and so for some of you, it could be like your diet. Is, is your diet really helpful for this? Um, reading into it, so like you don't want to have too much soy or, or like just because it, it has phytoestrogen. So like just like, and I'm not a professional. I'm not a health professional. I, 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 I can't even, <laughs> I'm not even, but that's just something like be on the lookout, taking care of yourself, taking your, your supplements where you need to take your supplements. Getting a lot of, I like, I feel like sun coming in, so vitamin D, like, like that's prepping yourself, like prepping your body because being pregnant is like, it takes, it takes, um, yeah, and your body requires a lot of attention. <laughs> that's what I say. It's like, it's, it happens in your body. Um, also like emotional through as well. So getting ready, we're getting ready. I, I, with these cards, I feel like very positive. Um, that if you're not pregnant, I feel like you're the universe is saying, yes, get ready for it, my friends. And for those of you who are pregnant, it's like, oh, so, <laughs> yeah, uh, value your good night's sleep. Like if you're, if you're pregnant, like enjoy this, like savor all these moments and, and savor the intimacy. Like I said, I know it makes sense. And maybe even your quiet times with, um, your loved ones, but it's, it's sort of like, that's an important part. <laughs> like yeah savor at everything because like things will change i i do feel like it it's like mm, yep okay <laughs> ah I, I like this energy oh look at that nine of presents and what's that the nine of cups and that means that there is a lot of that's a wish come through a wish fulfillment coming through we have the five of presents though and we also have woo, we have the night the temptation um but like look at the stars i like this i actually think i really like this <laughs> reading because even though we have, like here, we, we, we're we being told what we need to do this. Like we have the nine of presents, the nine of cups, of wish fulfillment, the five of presents is letting me know, combined with this temptation um, that we do need, and, and the star here as well in the edge, I feel like we need to 
face whatever something uh, when I see the five of presents it could be maybe you've had a miscarriage or like you know like or something happened where where you're just like you doubted yourself and or, or like you're holding on to something like where it's it's sort of like you're holding on to some sort of mistake where you felt like oh no um I did something wrong <laughs> and in in this instance this is for pregnancy I feel like it's in terms of of that it's in terms of like maybe you're like oh, I didn't take care of myself in this way or like um I almost feel like there's a lot of worries with that temptation that temptation always like because it's the devil card it's it's sort of like or maybe it is the temptation of, of you kind of like overindulging that's no, not it's no judgment <laughs> no judgment and overindulging it's just being aware of of what what it is like what it is like temptation for me is always like it's something you don't want in your life anymore it's something or something you want a little bit of but not like over really like where it controls you you want to be able to like say no when you want to say no to things so <clears throat> it almost feels like for me it's sort of like you have a lot of regret here with the five of cups and i feel like that is is something that you're working on uh, see this is why i'm like is it it's like here it is but we have like such a positive here like I, I can't even tell you. To me, it's like if you're not pregnant, that this is like the nine of cups is a fulfillment coming. The ace of presents, that's that's another thing right there. And then the star for me again, so again a wish fulfillment coming through. But the stars for me is that you're healing this, right? This is the time. This year is the time to heal whatever it is, whatever it is that you regret. <laughs> It could be, and, and again, like with pregnancy, with taking care of your health, that's a big one. But it's also, it feels like regret in, in the bigger terms because it's affecting you. If you're worried about it, if you're, if you're like, if you keep going back and having like, I, I really, for me, it's, it's a lot of worries because I do feel it in my tummy. Um, worries about things and you're like, oh, I could have done this differently. Oh, why didn't I do this? Why didn't I do, and like you're beating yourself up. This is the year where we need to clear that out because this is actually, this is not good <laughs> in terms of like, you're already trying to get out away from this. It's like you're focusing on your on yourself now, right? And you you like I gotta, you know, like instead of doing that, like looking at the healing, it's like okay, where you were, what you did, this you couldn't have done anything different at that point in time. It, it's sort of like we can never change the past. We can't even change the person we were. <laughs> it's like we've learned from it, though. There's the growth here, and that's the start. The start is realizing that we go from the temptation, from the devil card to the star, and then we have healed. You've gone through some tower because that's, it may not be here, but there must have been a tower moment at some point, right? <clears throat> now, you're, now, this is perfect. This is the year for you for healing. And in healing this, you know, whether you're pregnant or whether you're wanting to be pregnant, well, if you're wanting to be pregnant, this is important because there's some needing for healing to happen. It might be even, I feel like, healing also of your body as well, your thoughts and emotions and also your body, taking care of your, your like, what do you really need to be, you know, to be prepping for this pregnancy? What do you need to do? Reading books about it, looking at YouTube videos if you want. Uh, whatever it is, that's what you want to do. And then... But there's this, such a strong emotional aspect here as too, especially if you're pregnant, you're like, oh, it's, it's like, don't beat yourself up over and over and over. It's, it's not that. It's about the healing. It's about the excitement of this. It's like, I keep saying it's an adventure because it is. It's something wholly new. I really, really love this. I have no idea how much it is because it's either presence is sort of like, oh, such happiness and joy coming through. And it, and it's just the beginning. I really want to say that. It's just the beginning. Oh, love it. Love, love, love this healing energy. I love it. Love it. Let's go. <laughs> it's just like potential. Yeah, look at that. Potential. You have potential. It can't be any more than that. Greed, ambition, and jealousy. I actually don't think it's greed, ambition, or jealousy. I actually think it's more like, like I really do feel like, um, beating yourself up about stuff i i feel like it's almost like there's a sense of regret coming strongly here <laughs> i don't know maybe to do with money and then play yes <laughs> and i when i created this because i created this deck, i actually play um i put the dinosaurs here and i put the robot because i wanted you to like play with the past and play with the future um it's it's sort of like you you but enjoy the now and that's an important thing i want to say because you're still holding on to the past. And I feel like you're holding on to the, so you're regretting the past and then you're worrying about the future. And what I'm seeing with this play card, it's sort of like, 
just enjoy the now. I really like, and then and the potential here is like the potential for a very happy, like for happiness, for joy. <laughs> and it, it almost feels like, I almost feel like a part of you feels guilty of like, it, but can I have it all? And I feel like, yes, yes. It's okay to want it all, <laughs> to want this joy and to have this and that. Yeah, you can. You can have it all. Why not? Ah. All right, so I'm going to see what, like, what messages, what advice can we give the collective of group three? What? <laughs> it's funny because this actually came up with group one and make today an adventure. <clears throat> and that's actually, I'm going to leave it there because I actually think that that is, um, very much true it is this is like this is all an adventure even just life is an adventure <laughs> not just pregnancy but life itself is an adventure we forget that we we get so bogged down by like oh i have to do this i have to do that and that's why the play card is so important it's like no way it's, it's gonna we're gonna have fun with it all your vibe attracts your tribe okay so like what are you vibing at are you are you like worry worrying are you enjoying life are you just like like i said looking at everything as an adventure and then we also have true friends stick together every step of the way mm. it's a sort of like that commitment like like i don't know why it's sort of like the intimacy of relationships is so important <laughs> scatter love wherever you go yeah like love is also there <laughs> yes i like this i like this a lot because i feel like <sighs> I, I don't know, like there's a sadness to it in the, like in the background, like like I said, there is a spilled milk, but then there's also this beautiful, again, potential, like I, I just feel like there's this energy for you this year, um, that I hope you tap into it, because I, I like I say, it, it, it brought me like, it uplifted me, right, that's the energy I feel like, I'm like, yes, there is like, I have some, some like, oh, I, I worry about a little bit of stuff, but it also like there's an upliftment coming through. And I feel like that's the energy spirit is giving you. Um, so <laughs> please, please continue to have that. Yeah, beautiful. I could definitely see that. <clears throat> I, and I really feel like this is almost like a stork. I know it's an owl, <laughs> but it's like a stork coming. Like I really feel like if you're not pregnant, it's, it's like for me, it just feels like it's going to happen. And if you are, I feel like there's more joy and more love that is, you're just going to be in awe of it. You're going to be like, I didn't know I could love so much. Um, <clears throat> and that's what's going to happen here. <laughs> Let's see what we have. Delight. <laughs> oh, they're so cool. I delight in everything in my world. And divine divine joy fills me. Yeah, look at that. And, it's, and that's what it is. <laughs> you have no idea. It is this, this delight, enjoyment, and here we have acceptance. So, I am conditionally accept, cherish, and love myself as I am. And that is an important thing because that's the healing that has to come through here. That's the healing that's with the star here. Um, yeah, like that, that's coming through here. Uh, and then with this, I would say March with the Pisces with the Neptune. March might be a good, 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 good. Mar or like what I'm seeing for you, <laughs> like I've been kind of feeling for others. This is for you is like water uh, signs. It could be that your your child will be a water sign or you are, but I also feel like those are really auspicious times for you. So like March, late February for for the Pisces energy, um, Cancer <laughs> energy. Um, that's july late june and july and then we have the scorpio and that's actually the big one that i'm getting the scorpio which is in november so the pisces and, and november for you all right i think i'm gonna call it here but thank you so much for being here i really you have no idea it really was a lot of fun to do this reading i feel honored that i was able to read this don't beat yourself up whatever it is that happened in the past it was really you couldn't have changed it i just and it really just helped you to be the person that you are. And I almost want to say to this compassionate, like loving person that you are. And that's, and that's a big one. You know, like we, we don't acknowledge that sometimes we have to go through some ups and downs to get to where we need to be. So, um, just be, continue to be the awesome you that you are. <laughs> Thank you again. Uh, please do consider giving me a like and please consider subscribing. I am trying to create the content that you like. So I have polls now. I'm going to be weekly polls on what readings you want. Um, and also, if you have any ideas, just go ahead and write them in the comments. I'm not very good at replying back comments. 
I have a whole thing where I freeze up. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I could just say thank you, but I just feel so blah. <laughs> I feel like I want something masterful and it never comes. So, <laughs> but thank you so much. And I'm giving you a big hug. And until I see you in the next one, bye bye, my dear friends. Dear friends from group four. Okay, so you chose this card, which lets me know many things. <laughs> right off the bat, I thought, you need to rest, my friends. <laughs> that might be something coming through, like resting, taking it easy. Um, for others of you, this might be a weird message, but I actually like to me, it's sort of like um, I got like adoption. <laughs> I know it makes no sense, but it, it just feels like, like this could be your child and they're waiting for the like your home but they're kind of far away I hope that makes sense and 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 I, I don't like you know like I, this has nothing to do with like pregnancy reading like it, it's sort of just the message that came through and so for some of you maybe that is what you need to hear but it, it just feels like needing to rest needing to like give yourself some a little bit of time off like you I feel like that I almost feels like so also connecting to your past loved ones maybe being there just connecting to them they might be wanting to send you love and support and then, or they might be having some like uh actual message for you past loved ones are usually you know they're there for us they're supporting us um so that's an important thing i also want to say <laughs> thank you so much for it. um message is like you will be a great parent <laughs> So I don't know like who needed to hear that but you're going to be an amazing parent don't don't fret over that um so we have three of presents we have the storm we have the magician energy we have the seven of presents and we have the six of pen of six of ornaments six of pentacles okay so let's get into this my friends all right so what I am seeing here uh, again the storm here is the tower so uh, something might happen <laughs> or something has happened in the past where you um where if you are in a pregnancy it might be challenging but not to fret i like i said like it's not a bad thing it's like it might be challenging there might be like moments where you're just unsure about things where you're like a little confused and not sure about a lot of things um so that if you're pregnant but i overall here it's like the magician energy is there and i almost like i love that because you manifest you can manifest the reality that you want and so so for those of you who are like maybe you've had some experiences and you're like oh are you worrying like will i like especially like i have to like i talk about it because this is a pregnancy if, if you've had miscarriages in the past and you're like oh my goodness this is like doesn't bode well no it's not like that at all <laughs> i'm gonna say the magician energy here is what's this is your energy this is your prevalent energy this is the focus of it the magician you are able to create to manifest the things that you want what i'm noticing here is that you have the seven of presents and i feel like you're not sure about what it is that you want um so so <laughs> you're not like you or you might feel like there's too many choices you're like i don't know what to do also i i do see that like uh, the major you have two major arcanas and you have the other ones is this present emotions are very important for you you need to like deal with them <laughs> i'm like oh, here i'm being like a little vocal here there's also a sense of needing balance with the six of pentacles and six six of pentacles it's uh, like a balance of giving and receiving maybe but it also just feels like you need to have a balance um within yourself too I hope that makes sense <laughs> but it does it to me it just it feels like there's like i just i i feel like there's a lot of like um internal struggle a little bit but i feel like at the same time there's this optimism and hope and but there's internal struggles you're like oh my goodness um so let's let's talk a little bit about this storm let's talk about this um tower moment actually i didn't like <laughs> i'm glad i have this I'm going to actually clarify that one, but for me, it just feels like, like I said, something that could happen. It could be like where you just, oh, I don't want to, I don't know. Let me actually find out what this is. Okay. <laughs> mm, okay. So this is the Ace of Wands, but it was in reverse. 
Yeah, and it's, it's sort of like I'm feeling like there's an Ace of Wands in reverse, and then we also have like the Five of Cups underneath. Um, <clears throat> so that could also like there's a sadness. I, I really do feel like it. Um, so I'm gonna kind of go through this. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna give you the message that I don't think it's like general for everybody. Huh, this is a specific one, and you'll know. Maybe for some of you, you actually found out that you may not be able to like like give birth for some reason maybe you're infertile or maybe your partner's infertile something like that i feel like spirit is saying that that is not uh, like it, it keeps coming with the with the, the possible adoption here but it's it's not um and and it even isn't like you have to adopt that this means that you're never gonna have kids no that's not what i'm saying here what i'm saying here is that like yes you're gonna find out something that maybe it feels like uh, uh like i said it, it was a tar moment it's, it's a feeling where you're like gonna feel defeated with the five of cups um and then the ace is like your ace of wands is in reverse you're like no it's not there's no way for for, for something to come through um and this is why i'm very strongly feeling like the ace of wands the fact that the Ace of Wands wanted to come out, it means that there is indeed a chance for this. It just means that you're not seeing a possibility. <laughs> like you have alternatives and options is what I'm seeing. So, so I feel like for some of you, it's like, oh, I don't know. But there is alternatives. There are different choices. The Seven of Presence gives us um, different alternatives to different things there's a sense of, of balance and giving and receiving and i almost want to see you like you have a lot of love to give and that's something that i want to tell you you have a lot of love to give and and i feel like the world wants you to give it like spirit wants you to give it it is almost like the sense of um like you <laughs> you want to stay in bed, but I feel like the universe is like saying, nope, you got to get up. Resting is important, but you also got to get up. For some of you, maybe if you are pregnant, it, what it says, please take care of yourself in terms of like, if you're feeling you need to stay in bed, stay in bed. Like don't force things. It's also another thing that's coming through. Um, just take care of yourself. That's 100. Always be aware of what your priorities are, right? That's what I always say. Um, and so the magician energy here though <laughs> so even if it's it's like there's a tower i can't i'm not going to take away the tower it's, there's a sadness there there's a sense but the ace of wands is like there is a beginning there is this this like if you're trying to get pregnant and you feel like it's not going to happen it is there is a big chance that you can do it there's just maybe you have to play with different things you have to learn about different things they're like um try nature a nurture path uh try acupuncture try different things it's like that seven of presence is different choices available to you um also a sense of maybe even connecting to your friends here with three of presence <laughs> i almost feel like for 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 some of you like oh you you think that you're not even gonna have one but you're gonna get three or like two you're gonna have something it's just it feels like you have to like almost feel like uh shifting your perspective knowing that you have the ability to manifest things maybe it's not the way you want it and that's that's another thing we, we have our i set ideals that we want a certain way to come out but in, in reality it's okay sometimes those that way is not the way it's going to be it's going to be a different way right so <laughs> can you get pregnant i believe there's yes there's alternative there's options for you three of presents to me it also feels like getting their support friendship like i might even it feels like you might even on this road you might find new friends you might find some some like a a, a community that that you weren't even aware of i feel like that's an important message that's coming through here for you what else do i want to say here i want to say why the seven of presents is there actually i'm going to clarify oh like i feel like they're ever going to clarify you because this is a message that i feel is a little heavy <laughs> so i'm in presence but it's very optimistic at the same time so i'm in presence okay okay oh look at that the six of pentacles again again it's sort of like you just you're a, like a naturally giving person and i feel like it's sort of like you think that it has to be and look at the ten ten of cups there's a, a way for you to have this if the dream is that you want to have a family, you can still have a family, right? If you, you know, like if you're having trouble getting pregnant, 
look for alternatives. I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a health professional. You have to get that. But they're all alternatives. That's why I keep here. It's like you gotta go and you gotta like look at alternatives. Um, if you are pregnant, right? And but you're you're like oh, with this tower, it's like something happened in the past. Again, sort of like I'm remaining optimistic is what I would say. I know this is like at the like, oh that's what no, and finding like if you've had a miscarriage, right? And, and, and this is scaring you. And this is something that's like in your, in your pregnancy, like, in, and you, it's probably niggling in the back of your brain and you're like, oh my goodness, I could lose this, right? And it's just a, a legit fear, right? Go looking for a community, a community where you, like community who has, women have gone through that, right? Go look for them, <laughs> like, and, and, and have that support because I feel like there's a need for you to, to be supported in this and things that you're scared of you need the support whether it's friends whether it's like going and looking for new <laughs> friendships and communities that's something that you might need right if, if it's if even if you haven't had a miscarriage and this is just your first like pregnancy and you're or even your second and there's some sort of like tension that you have or, or maybe you can even oh, that's even better if this is like you know you've gone through it before maybe connecting to to women who have been like who this this is the first time or, or who are trying i almost feel like you <laughs> and this is a big thing it's like you have to connect to others because it is it's almost like a sense of your purpose <laughs> and it's, it's it's big right it's a it's like a, a purpose because you're helping you're helping more than than you are even aware of so i feel like that's an important message for you connecting to others like needing support system or being the support system allowing others to hear you as well um and for some of you i i would say like if you have if, even if you have like, you know pregnant and stuff possibly considering adopting just because i feel like you're like a natural giver you i feel like you're you're meant to just like give and support and love you're such like lovely energy here um i would just like to want to see this three of presents let's just say a presence down here page of cups yeah look at that and i love that page of cups that's um <laughs> the, the the nature of 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 like sharing emotions you know, like emotional mm, friendships. I just, I just feel like friendships and, and sharing emotions. And like I said, it's sort of like you have to share your experience. And that's sort of what I'm getting. The big message for you is that you're, this year, like you are manifesting the things that you want. And, but you, it feels like spirit wants not only that, but he wants you to grow even bigger because it's like, please share your experience. Please connect to, to communities to your community or, or like especially if you are feeling alone if you are feeling overwhelmed if you are feeling all these things other people are as well and they need your support as well i know it's like you're like oh i know that's a lot but i i really think that you have beautiful energy um and and do for some of you if you can consider like adoption just because it seems like that's something that you would be very good at as well not saying you know like i see potential for pregnancy here quite so um, but I, I also see that eh, there's something that you need, like, I feel like there's a, a, a need for giving, which I think you naturally do. <laughs> um, and that's going to bring you a lot of joy. Okay, let's see what other messages are coming for us. Bloom brightly where you are planted. Um, and the blooming is very important. So you don't have to, like... <laughs> almost feel like you, you want to change who you are like you don't have to it's like you are i really do want to say you're just perfect as you are like you know like perfect in terms of what needs to be done we have nina and ticket love is the greatest healing therapy look at that look at that and so if you need healing which i do feel like that love is what's guiding you and i feel like you are a giver a natural giver and i feel like spirit wants to for you to give because then you'll receive it's sort of like that's coming through here oh. let's see what else we have life is a carnival revel in the ride and so that's the, <laughs> that's the storm power moment um it's sort of like yeah you're gonna go through ups and downs but that's okay <laughs> 
like I always think things will always work out the best way possible and hold close to your sense of wonder yeah look at that through ups and downs there's always a sense of wonder life always surprises us and joy will be had <laughs> what else can you give me what what does their soul want to tell them or what does their desire? Healing, look at that. Healing is just very strong. Phenomenal healing energy flows through every cell in my body. So you need to heal. I feel like there is a sense of healing that comes through here. And then look at this light. My light radiates through my life and the world around me. And that is, that's who you are, my friend. Mm. I am so, so grateful to that I was able to do this with you. Thank you so much for letting me do your reading. I hope you enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up. And until I see you in the next one, bye-bye, my dear friends.